Hey guys, what up? It's Goose TV here again today, and today we have our Mad Mobile video on my channel. Now, today's video, guys, is going to be a pretty simple one. We're going to be going over how you can make coins with the NFL Draft promo that is out right now. It's pretty straightforward. I'm going to show you guys a couple different things, a couple different approaches you can take towards making coins, and stuff like that in this video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on my post notifications so you never miss any of my videos. Today's post notification shout out is out to Beast Gaming. There's a stat on YouTube that says about 80% of you guys that are watching my channel are not subscribed. So if that's you, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my content. So NFL Draft has been out for the last few days, and I've been pretty much grinding it, whatever. Now I am a little bit behind, or at least a little bit behind where I want to be. I'm very, very close to be able to get one more master, and then I just need one final master be to, uh, to get Ezekiel Elliott. Now I know a lot of people probably already have him or whatever. Um, I just haven't been uh, spending a lot of coins or anything. I need to start doing that, though. I really want to get that and then honestly maybe get a pick or something else i'm not exactly sure i know we're probably getting some more masters and everything if you look at the news tab we still have some new stuff we had new masters and standouts that was yesterday um maybe we'll get something i'm guessing maybe tomorrow or you know obviously it's going to be tomorrow probably because it's not 423 whatever and then we have two more things after probably a few more masters or something like that or or uh, i'm not exactly sure what else we're going to be getting but we still have more stuff to come for the draft promo, so I want to speed it up a little bit so I can get some different cards and stuff like that. But there are actually a lot of ways to make coins with this promo because in compared to typical, or not typical, compared to old promos at least, uh, what they've been doing with promos uh, recently, especially with Easter and now even draft too, all the, the masters and everything you get are auctionable right away. Something they started, I don't even know what year they started it, if it was last year or if even if it was Mad Mobile 18. They started making the masters of the promos and even some of the, you know, the bigger, higher cards unauctionable. Which really kind of sucked because back in old Mad Mobile games, Mad Mobile 16, Mad Mobile 17, point of making a master in a promo was to make profit off of it. And you could sell it right away. Um, and that was, for me, that was my favorite part. I never really tried to go for the best team back then. I would just make coins. I'd complete the master in the first day by buying stuff off the auction house. And boom, I sold it for a profit. And if I wanted it, I'd buy it back later. Um, but yeah, so that kind of, the dynamic of being able to sell stuff as soon as you get it is pretty cool. And something that I think is definitely, okay, so... Aaron Donald, you can't auction at all, which is kind of weird, but Ezekiel Elliott, you can auction. That's going to be one of the things we talk about in this video. I'm not sure if any of the draft players are going to be auctionable or whatever, but you can see these draft masters. These are all auctionable. Uh, Elliott's auctionable. The draft standouts are auctionable. A lot of stuff is auctionable. All of the players and everything is auctionable, so that's pretty cool. That obviously helps because you can just sell stuff right away. So Ezekiel Elliott, let's see what he's going for right now, just for fun. Uh, program draft, we want 100 overall. We might see some other players. Nope, just Elliott here, and he's obviously gone down in price. He's about 2.5 million coins right now. But you can still make a profit if you're not gonna put him on, on your team. For me, I'm putting him on my team. Um, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna replace some movers. I think Todd Gurley I have. Uh, I didn't really, I got that out of the, uh, the present opener, the Easter egg opening. So um, I want to at least get some sort of fun card for my team. I'll grab Elliot. But yeah, so um, a couple different routes. So the Masters are auctionable as well. So what you can do is if you have a decent team and you really don't want these Masters on your team for whatever reason, well, obviously some people are going to be using them for, uh, what are they called, uh, Evo players. But you can see that these cards are going for a good amount of coins. These cards are going for, you know, some of them are a little bit more expensive than others. Um, but you can see minimum you're seeing 1.3 mil really as a price here for all of these cards. And these masters really aren't even that hard to complete. The draft standouts are very easy to complete. Um, they're a little bit easier than the other ones. You only need 8 of those 85 draft players. You need 2 diamonds. No other badges or anything. Just 8 85 pluses. And then the draft standout badges. Which you can get from opening packs. And playing that live event anyways. I believe these guys are auctionable. Yeah. So these are. It's not super hard. You can grind a promo. Get one of these and sell it off for a million coins. Easy. Another thing that can A, help you out, get Ezekiel Elliott fast, maybe not get as much profit because you're out, or you are going to be spending coins, but it is a way to do something. So when, if you're going for Elliott, if you're going to build Elliott, one thing you can do is if you don't want the Masters for your team, you do have to get three of these. What you can do, you can complete them and sell them. 
and what 1.3 million and then with those coins if you if you're lacking behind or whatever you want to speed it up spend all those coins on either getting draft road to the draft players for exchanges down here or you can buy just regular 85 plus draft players you can kind of expedite the process so you're spending some of the coins you get but in the end let's say you break even with the masters because you're going to sell them all but then you're going to buy all of those coins worth of stuff you're still going to be able to get elliot if you want to sell elliot then that's still a couple million coins of profit but if you are grinding just regular free to play method you might be able to sell all of those and get elliot still and make a ton of coins so it's really really nice out of the live events, it's really easy to get the 85 pluses, and the 85 pluses are going for a lot. These are 85s. Most most elites do not sell at all. I haven't tried to sell draft elites, but I would expect them to sell at least a little bit better than the other ones because these are much more expensive than you know than, the, than regular elites are. They are over the price uh, price floor. They're more expensive, so that means you know they might be a little bit easier to sell. And what each of these is about 100k. Not saying that you will be able to sell them every single time. I have no experience. I'm not sure if these sell at all. Maybe they do. Um, because, you know, they're obviously in high demand. People are going to buy them if you post them at a cheap enough price. But, um... So you can get these out of live events pretty easily. A couple a day, you can literally make a couple hundred K a day if you're just gonna play live. If you're not going for any masters, or you really don't want any masters for your team, it's still a fantastic promo to grind out to get some coins. If you wanna, like literally, if you want coins, literally grind out the three masters and get the Elliot and then sell him too. And you can make a ton of coins. Honestly, this is one of the better promos I think for making coins this year purely on the fact that you can auction stuff right away if you couldn't auction any of these 99 masters and you couldn't auction this ezekiel elliott the only way to be able to do that would be to uh sell the 85 plus players and that would not be the greatest way but we do have those in the game and it's definitely useful to utilize them or you could just go for the draft standouts i don't know exactly i'm sure these are going for about the same they're still evo food and they're still worth some stuff um getting some 99s like that draft standouts might be a little bit easier to grab so why not grab them so uh, we can open up our packs here really not much more to say i guess we're going to open up our 50 coin packs let's see what kind of badges we can get we need a uh, so we need six to seven badges we only got one there we got a draft standout badge and some more draft players, which we can exchange for more items. We will get, I'm going to get the 99, uh, I'm going to get the 99 uh, offensive tackle in this video. I just want to get that done here. Let's see in the last pack. Can we get clutched with a ton of six to seven badges? That's what I really want. We can, we can get three. I think that's going to be enough. I think I do have enough to be able to get it. So let's go check um, right here. And we do need two more 85 pluses. I traded in all my players for stamina, and as you can see, I have 325 stamina. So I'm going to do some first wins so we can get those 85 pluses. All right, in the first win pack, we're going to be getting a regular draft player out of the standout uh, event, which is kind of weird. In the first win, we're going to get an 86 plus. And with that, let's see, in our win pack, we can't get a player. We're going to get a 6 to 7 badge. We're going to get some other badges here. In the prospect event, we're going to be able to get two 2 to 3 round badges, and we're going to get some more... Uh, two to three round badges. Now I'm going to sim the rest of these events. I'm going to do two more, it looks like, here. Come on, give me a player. Give me a player. There we go. 85 Harrison Butker there, and then maybe another player. Grab a, we'll grab a few more badges there. Let's go over to sets here. We're going to claim this last. I, I believe I need the early, early drafts, right? Yeah, I need 11 to 15. That's what I do need here. Redeem here. And we're going to be able to get an 11 through 20 pick pack. And we now need 11 through 15. Boom. And then that's going to be able to get us a Eric Fisher, who is actually going to go on my team. I did sell the other one I got. Um, but I, this one I do need. I, I haven't needed an offensive tackle for a while. It is, uh, it is a vertical, which is my scheme. Not that that really matters too much to me. But that's pretty cool right there. That's our second draft master. And I'm one master away uh, from getting myself a... Ezekiel Elliott so now as you can see uh, my offensive line really needed that I only had an 84 in there and that's gonna bump that up there um, there is my offense for those that want to see it looks like that Michael or that Lamar Jackson other than uh, other than the Devin Hester I guess that's the next card I need to upgrade but other than that 
my team is looking decent. I need, I do need to upgrade Ray Lewis. I do have uh, Willie Lanier here, but um, I need to probably sell him off or decide what I'm going to do with that exactly. But that is how to make coins, guys. It's really not that hard for a little bit of a recap. Obviously, if you want to try to get the Masters, that's going to be your best way. If you want to just sell off the 85s, that's going to be a decent way too because you're going to be able to get a lot of them every day. And then I really didn't mention this, but if you're just going to sell off the 85s and everything, with, you're going to get a ton of badges from playing anyway. So just trade those in for the these uh, 85 players right here. It's going to be pretty simple for you to do that. Um, if you want to go for the draft standouts, those are pretty easy. Just sell those. You can sell the 99s. Everything is auctionable. And then once you get to Ezekiel Elliott, you can obviously uh, put him on your team or sell him to make a ton more coins right there. Um, so in general, it's a pretty good promo for making coins as long as you're grinding and you're going to be able to do it. Anyways, guys, that's just about it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to like it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm Goose TV, and I'm out. I'll see you guys later.